Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, we are going to be going over two things. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is the absolute best farming method for faction reputation in the game. You have a week to do this. It is extremely good. You get around four to 500 tokens per hour. It's very, very fast. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Then after we get done with the farming guide, I'm going to be letting you guys know about the cap that was placed on faction engrams and pretty much confirmation that faction rally events will be returning in the future. So like I said, to start off, I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm these faction reputation tokens extremely quickly. We're talking about six every 45 seconds to a minute. It's very, very fast. So what you're going to want to do is teleport to the rig location on Titan, and you're going to want to go ahead and follow me exactly as I have been doing in the video. You're going to go to this lost sector at the top of this location. It's very easy to find. It's near the water, and the official name of it is Cargo Hold 3. So whenever you make your way down here, you're going to go through the lost sector, and you're not going to pay attention to the enemy at all. It's a very small square room and all you're going to do is hop around this room and destroy the six hive structures that can be destroyed for faction reputation tokens. They can only spawn in a couple of different locations so after you do this two or three times you should know everywhere they can spawn and they will be extremely easy to find and destroy. The really cool thing about this lost sector is that if you die within it, you have a very high chance to spawn right before it, which means you can just run right back in and they will be respawned. And as I show in the gameplay in the background, you can literally just kill all six, die, kill all six again, die, and do this over and over and over again. It is extremely fast. You get six tokens per run. And this is also really nice because you don't have to worry about trying not to die. If you happen to die after only killing two or four of them or however many, you will just respawn and the entire encounter will be reset so you can go and get six more of them. Now, if you do respawn at the very entrance of the Lost Sector or on this ramp, you will have to run back and reset it. But this is extremely easy to do. Just follow the route that I do in the gameplay. And it really only takes about 20 seconds to reset this so you can just keep farming the six coins over and over and over again and like I said you get around four to five hundred coins an hour if you do this persistently. Now I do want to give credit where credit is due so thank you to Rabbi over on the Destiny the Game subreddit. I will have his original thread linked down in the description below. He outlines this entire process there if you are interested in reading it. But that is the entire guide, so let's go ahead and get into the little bits of news. So if you go to the help article regarding the Faction Rally, it actually gives some really interesting information regarding the Faction Rally event, specifically in this line. After a character has earned 30 Faction Engrams in a single Faction Rally event, any additional Faction Engrams earned will only reward that character with shaders. This limit will be reset at the beginning of the next Faction Rally event. So there are two main points to take from this. Once you get 30 faction engrams, you can no longer earn the weapons or the armor on that character. However, you can continue to earn shaders if you are interested in those. And then it also hinted that faction rally will be returning because it does say this limit will be reset at the beginning of the next faction rally event. Now, no one really knows when it's going to be returning, but I am assuming at this point that it is going to be on a fairly regular rotation throughout the different events. To me, it seems like this Faction Rally event is actually the PvE counterpart to the Iron Banner. Essentially, you are forging strength, you are building up your factions, you are competing for weapons and stuff like that, and that itself has a very Iron Banner feel to it. So what I think they are going to be doing is alternating the PvP Iron Banner event, which starts next month, and the Faction Rally PvE event. So every other month you will have Faction Rallies, and in the months in between you will have Iron Banner. Now that has not been confirmed, but to me that makes the most sense. Let me know what you guys think about all of that down in the comment section below. But really, that's the entire video. So go out there, grind for Future War Cult, because their reward is the best out of all three factions. That Pulse Rifle is going to be absolutely amazing. Have some fun, do some world quests, grind this lost sector, stuff like that. But overall, just enjoy the event. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo to be subscribed for more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.